I'm Tom Miggett from Tom Miggett Photography. For those of you who follow me on Facebook, Twitter, um, or on my blog directly from TomMiggettPhotography.com, uh, you've seen I've published a lot of wildlife photography recently, and here are those um, last exposures. And, um, and those of you who've been following my videos for the past year or so, you may remember that I've done a video back uh, over the summer uh, from the Edinburgh Zoo. And I was giving you a tip on how to make the cage where your favorite animal is staying, how to make that cage disappear uh, without using Photoshop, just purely using your camera. Uh, and I invite you to go to check that video. If you don't know the trick, it's really useful. And I guess there was one person <laughs> who actually watched that video, and that's Mr. Hani. Mr. Hani is a teacher, he lives in Casablanca in Morocco, and Mr. Hani actually sent me an email last night. So, um, let me pull out that email. It's in French, so I'm just gonna quickly translate what he says. He says, hi, this uh, picture of this vulture, so he sent me that picture, you can see the background, um, was taken at the zoo of Casablanca Zoo, uh, and it was about 9 a.m. in the morning, it was a pretty sunny day, well, what you expect, it's Casablanca after all. <laughs> and um, I had a point and shoot camera, it's a bridge, it's a Fujifilm Finepix S200 EXR, and obviously there was uh, a cage, and what I did was what you said in your video. So I got closer to uh, the cage. I don't remember um, all the exposure detail because I can't get my hand on the roll file, so he sent me um, the JPEG here. And he says, well, what I did was zooming on that bird, which was about three meters away from me, and applying the rule that you gave us in the video, I basically opened my aperture to the maximum. Uh, and that way I actually blurred the, um, the, the cage, so the grid, so you don't see it. Although he claims that it's, uh, it's showing a little bit on, a, on, on the belly of, her, of the animal here, but honestly, I don't see it. So anyway, he sent me this great email, so I'm glad because he's watching my video and I have this feeling that at least my video serves uh, people and learn with them, so uh, with all those videos that I do. So uh, thank you so much for the feedback, I really appreciate. And he ends his email with one question. He's, he would like, he's not quite satisfied with the clarity, uh, the sharpness of his shot, and he's using Lightroom 4. He'd like to know uh, what he could do to make this um, uh, image a little bit sharper. Um, and then he gives a link where he actually posted that image. So I'll, I'll post that link uh, in the description and uh, I'll review it just before the end. So Mr. Henny, um, first of all, thank you again. Uh, I love the shot, you know, before I try to do anything with it, I just, I, I love it. I love the background, it's blur, it's nice. I like the focus, the focus is right on the, on the head of the beast. Uh, sharpness wise, you know, I can't I can't really tell. It's a JPEG. Uh, it's not a very big JPEG because you see I'm zooming two by one here and uh, it's, it's getting pixelized, but hey, it doesn't matter. Maybe you cropped, maybe you didn't. I don't know, but I, I don't really care for that. I like the overall image, it's brilliant. Um, let's see what we can do. First of all, the sharpness is not my uh, primary concern with this one. My primary concern is uh, with the darkness. Uh, first of all is his eyes. Uh, I don't know whether the vultures have actually colors in the eyes, probably not, but it's very, very dark here. And although you can see there's a cache light right here, but what I would like is to actually bump this, uh, bring some more light in uh, those dark eyes and also lit up a bit the um, under the wing uh, area here. So what we're going to do is we're actually going to use, we're in the develop mode here, and we're going to use the adjustment brush here at the top right. So I'm clicking on this, and um, so what I want, and let me delete that, um, what I want is I want to take care of um, the eyes. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to zoom, all right, I'm zooming in, and just like for Newman, I'm actually clicking on the effect here, and I'm going to go on the iris enhance. Um, and I'm just gonna reduce the size of my brush with my um, with my mouse here, and I'm just gonna go over just like this, and I'm doing the other one as well, just like that. And you might not see any difference here, which is absolutely normal because it's a very dark eye or dark eyes because there are two of them. So what I'm going to do is I'm gonna go on the shadows slider here, and I'm gonna bring it to the right. And what you should see, you know, look at that. It's it's getting there, we're getting some color, we're starting seeing the iris of the beast. 
So it's not enough to my liking, so I'm just gonna go to the exposure as well, and I'm gonna bring this up. Uh, and don't worry if it looks too much here because I'm, I'm zoomed in. So let, let's try that. I'm gonna zoom out, and I'm gonna close my brush, and I quite like the result, to be honest. Let's zoom in. You see, you actually seeing something. I, I, I quite like that result. Um, then I mentioned the under the wings area. So same again, I'm gonna click on my brush and I'm gonna click on the new one. And here I'm gonna, I'm on my Mac, so I'm gonna press the Alt and I'm gonna reset the effect for my brush and go to Restore to get it all uh, back to the middle, to the center, very neutral. And what I'm going to do is I'm gonna um, basically cover, paint over um, all that area here. So, you see, I'm just gonna cover, and it doesn't do anything for the moment because I did not move any of the sliders, all right? I'm doing this, and I'm going on the other side as well, just like that, voila. Reduce a little bit, up, and like this. There's a trick, I don't know if you know that, there's a trick on Lightroom, um, you basically press the uh, O key and it's gonna show you where you brush. So I'm pressing this and you can see where I brush. And um, I went a little bit overboard here, so I'm gonna clean that. And to clean that, you could go to the right here and click Erase, but there's a faster way, which is you press the Alt key on the Mac. Sorry, I don't know guys what, what's on the, on, it might be Control, I don't know, or Option on the, um, it might be Alt as well on, on PC. And you basically go here and you see I'm actually cleaning cleaning the edges here, uh, and I think it's pretty good. So I'm go let me remove, press again, oh, I should go here. Remove the, uh, press the O again to delete that red thing. And now we're gonna start doing something with that brush. So what I want is some more brightness under the wing. So I'm gonna lit up the shadows, and you see I'm moving the slider, and we should start seeing more details. Look at how they're coming out. I I'm very pleased with that. So the bottom, the, the bottom part here where my pointer is, is really, really dark, it's too dark, it's black, so it's probably um, part of those blacks here that you see on the histogram at the top right corner. I think it's the top left here where you've got pure black, and that's probably where it's from. Um, but I think I'm okay with this, so let's, uh, let's do this, and maybe now you were talking about sharpness. Um, like I said, it's not my concern here, uh, but I can do a little bit of clarity uh, that's gonna lit up as well, uh, like that. Okay, not too much, and I think it's okay. Um, I wouldn't try to get the feathers or the hair uh, any sharper than they are here. I think it's I think it's okay. Um, and let's see what it was before. So now that we have that, what was it before? Okay, that's what it was before. That's how you sent it to me, Mr. Honey, and this is how it is now. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to send you that image to you and you're gonna tell me whether you like it or not. Uh, I'm looking forward to uh, your feedback. I hope you guys uh, learned something. It was very quick really, just how to use the adjustment brush uh, to uh, lit up some shadows uh, when uh, when they're very too dark and, uh, and you wanna bring some more details. Remember, here was the original, the wings here bothered me because I could I could guess the, 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 the wings and the feathers, but I'd like to see more detail. So that's what we did with the adjustment brush and just playing with a shadow slider. All right, well, this is it for today. I'm gonna to show you the link where Mr. Hany actually posted his image. It's right there, it's 500px.com, uh, and the link will be in the description. And it was already a great shot, so don't get me wrong. I I, I love the original one. I think it's brilliant, and that's one of the uh, one of the uh, the comment here say that's a nice way to make an ugly bird beautiful. Uh, so you actually did that. So thank you so much for sending uh, this image for me to play with and uh, your feedback. And I'm looking forward to reading more of your feedback. And if you guys have any pictures you'd like me to uh, put my touch into it send them to ask at tommygoodphotography.com. And until next time, this is Tom Miggott saying, if you like it, well, capture it.